Are you worried or suspecting that your child may have color blindness? Color blindness is a condition where one is unable to see colors in a normal way. It is also known as color vision deficiency. I'll be using these two terms interchangeably in this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Wan, the optometrist of Ardent Vision Eye Care in Richmond Hill, Ontario. In this video, I'll be answering the most frequently asked questions regarding the topic of color vision deficiency in children. Let's get started. About 4.5% of the entire world population has color vision deficiency. The prevalence is not equal between males and females, however. One in every 12 males have color vision deficiency, whereas only one in every 200 females have it. With these odds in mind, it means that at least one child in every class of 30 has trouble telling colors. This is a more common problem than we might think. The majority of color vision deficiency is inherited. It typically passes from mother to son. You should be more suspicious if there are any colorblind men on the mother's side of the family. These could be uncles, great uncles, cousins, and grandfathers. Generally, there are three main types of color vision deficiencies. Red-green deficiencies, blue-yellow deficiency, and a type called complete color blindness, where the vision is completely lacking in color. The red-green deficiencies is by far the most common type, and it is usually inherited. 99% of colorblind people suffer from red-green deficiencies. These individuals struggle to distinguish certain shades of reds, greens, browns, and oranges. Blue-yellow deficiency is very rare and is usually acquired, for example, due to disease. This results in the inability to distinguish certain shades of blue and yellow. Complete color blindness is the rarest type of color vision deficiency and affects only one out of every 30,000 people worldwide. These individuals see objects in shades of black, white, and gray. Some signs to look out for in a child who is suspected of having color vision deficiency include the following. The child may use unusual colors for objects in coloring worksheets, for example, coloring rivers purple rather than blue. They may have low attention span when participating in activities relating to color, for example, sorting or coloring. They may have difficulty differentiating red, green, brown, and purple pencil crayons. Children with color vision deficiency are often more sensitive to bright lights. The child may also have trouble interpreting worksheets that are printed color on color. Unfortunately, there is not yet a cure for color vision deficiency. However, a person with color vision deficiency can be taught to properly name colors to a degree. For example, a colorblind person can be taught to identify which traffic light is flashing, red, yellow, or green, by the brightness and the location of the traffic lights, rather than having to tell the actual colors of the lights apart. For this reason, many countries, including Canada, do allow people with color vision deficiency to drive. It is sometimes possible to help a colorblind person to increase their ability to distinguish colors by wearing special filters in the form of contacts or glasses. We do know, however, that even with the help, they will not be corrected to see colors the way we normally do. Every child should be tested for color vision deficiency if there is a concern by at least age 5. It is important to diagnose color vision deficiency early on because color-coded learning materials are used extensively in primary grades. If there is a concern, bring it up at your child's next annual eye exam and the optometrist will use specific color vision tests such as the Ishihara plate test to confirm the diagnosis. Many with color vision deficiency may appear to lead very normal lives, which is exactly why it is often undiagnosed. For children with color vision deficiency, their struggle starts early in the school setting. Examples would be participating in group activities that require color recognition or reading words that are highlighted in color. Another important thing to note is that for a child with color vision deficiency, 
their future career options are slightly limited. Jobs such as pilots, train drivers, electricians, firefighters, military, the law enforcement personnel often require accurate color recognition. This is important for the child to recognize with time to avoid disappointment in their journey of pursuing their dream job. An example of how a teacher can help a child with color vision deficiency in a classroom setting is by writing in high contrast. For example, writing in black on a whiteboard versus using colors. They can print handouts on high black and white contrast rather than on colored paper. They can also make sure that art supplies or other supplies that have color are appropriately labeled. The child should be encouraged to tell their teacher or coach when they are struggling to tell colors apart in an activity. I hope that answered some of your questions regarding color vision deficiency in children. If you would like to have your child seen by me in the Greater Toronto Area, please visit my practice website at ardenvision.ca to book an appointment. Please like this video if you learned something today and make sure to subscribe for more free eye health videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Yes. <laughs>